This segment we'll be talking about uh, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh's exclusive conversation to CNN News 18. He, in an exclusive conversation with Network 18's Group Editor-in-Chief Rahul Joshi, sent out a very strong message to our neighbour Pakistan, saying that the government will give a befitting reply to any terrorist who tries to disturb the peace in India. The remarks came a day after Britain's The Guardian newspaper published a report alleging the Indian government killing 20 people in Pakistan since 2020 as part of a broader plan to eliminate terrorists living on foreign soil. Meanwhile, Karnataka Home Minister G. Parameshwara stoked another row after he said that centre's role in the Pulwama attack remains doubtful even today. BJP, of course, lashed out at the remarks made by G. Parameshwara and slammed the Congress party for prioritising vote bank politics over national security. BJP also said that the Congress was trying to give a clean chit to the Pakistan and stands exposed today. Kali Johab गार्डियन फॉरेन पब्लिकेशन है गार्डियन उसमें एक आर्टिकल आया है उसमें कहा है उस आर्टिकल ने कहा है कि जो है भारत ने पाकिस्तान की धरती में 20 लोगों को 20 इंडिविजुअल्स को टेररिस्ट को जो है पिछले कुछ सालों में मारा है उन्हीं की धरती में जाके मारा है और जो है इस पर तमाम क्या कहते हैं उन्होंने बहुत रिसर्च की है बहुत लोगों से बात की है ये पहले हम लोगों के बारे में कनाडा में भी बोला गया यूएस में भी ये 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 चर्चा हुई पहले पर पाकिस्तान की ये नई चर्चा है 20 लोग तो इसको आप कैसे देखते हैं कि ये क्या उस आर्टिकल में ये भी कहा है कि जो है भारत जो है केजीबी और मुसाद से जो है काफ़ी इन्फ्लुएंस्ड है तो उनकी भी जो इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसी है रॉ वगैरह इस तरीके का काम कर रही है कोई स्लीपर सेल है यूएई में उसने जो है इसमें उसका रोल रहा है और बीस लोगों को मतलब एक आध लोग नहीं बीस टेररिस्ट को जो है हमने कुछ सालों में मारा है बीस टेररिस्ट को मारा हाँ, हाँ जी हाँ। मतलब टेररिस्ट कह लीजिए लोगों को कह लीजिए पर वहाँ उनके पर उनकी धरती में मारा है कोई भी टेररिस्ट हमारे पड़ोसी देश है जी भारत को डिस्टर्ब करने की कोशिश करेगा जी यहां पर जी आतंकवादी हरक नहीं करेगा तो उसका मुंह तोड़ जवाब देंगे यदि वो भगकर पाकिस्तान में जाएगा तो पाकिस्तान में घुसकर मारेंगे तो ये बात आप मतलब कह रहे हैं जो प्रधानमंत्री भी कह रहे हैं कि अब वो भारत वो भारत नहीं रहा जो कि बगल में खड़े होकर तमाशा देखता रहेगा घर में घुस कर मारेगा बिल्कुल प्रधानमंत्री जी ने जो कहा है बिल्कुल सच कहा है और यह ताकत है भारत की और पाकिस्तान भी इसे समझने लगा है वैसे भारत बराबर अपने पड़ोसी देशों के साथ अच्छे रिश्ते बनाकर रखना चाहता है चाहे कोई भी हमारा पड़ोसी देश है और आज देखा होगा आपने पास से हिस्ट्री उठाकर देखिए कि आज तक न तो हमने दुनिया के किसी देश पर कभी आक्रमण किया है अथवा आक्रमण की कोई पहल की हो कभी नहीं किया और न तो दुनिया के किसी देश की एक इंच जमीन पर हम लोगों ने कभी कब्जा करने की कोशिश की है यह भारत का चरित्र रहा है जी। लेकिन भारत को बार बार कोई आंख दिखाएगा भारत में आकर आतंकवादी गतिविधियों को बढ़ावा कर देने की कोशिश करेगा तो उसकी खैर नहीं है So that was Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh in, his, in an exclusive conversation with Network 18's Group Editor-in-Chief Rahul Joshi. Let's take a look at some of the highlights about the message that he sent out to our neighbours Pakistan. Rajnath Singh uh, to CNN News 18 gave out a strong message, a very stern one to Pakistan. He said that we will not allow any terrorists to disturb our peace. Apart from that, another message that he gave out a very in that very brief discussion to Network 18, he said that we will always give a befitting reply if we we were hindered and our peace would be hindered. Apart from that, he said that I completely agree with Prime Minister Modi's ghar mein ghuskar maarenge assertion, something that Prime Minister has been saying about the neighbours and them disturbing the peace inside India. On the report that has been released by a guardian on uh, India killing around 20 terrorists in a bro uh, broader um, aim of killing uh, the cross-border terrorism, he said that India has never initiated any attack on any country. We only believe in maintaining peace with our neighbours. And about the tough talk on terror, like I've said before that he completely um, agrees with the assertion of Prime Minister of Ghar Mein Ghuske Maarenge. There is something else that he also said that India never attacks first and that those who are trying to spread terror inside India uski khair nahi, nobody would be spared. CNN News 18's Aman Sharma is joining us on the broadcast. Aman, a very good morning to you. First, let's talk about the report that has been released by The Guardian about this entire saga to which uh, Rajnath Singh gave out a very strong response. 
Uh, see, Sakshi, the Guardian report which came out two days back, you know, clearly says it claims that India could have killed as many as 20 terrorists on Pakistani soil through covert operations, you know, covert operations run by Indian intelligence agencies with help of sleeper cells in UAE. And the names have been listed out, the people who have died in Pakistan, these terrorists who have died rather in the mysterious circumstances by unknown gunmen. So that is the Guardian report. And you know, on that, uh, in the exclusive interview yesterday, our uh, group editor-in-chief, Mr. Rahul Joshi, had asked Mr. Rajnath Singh about this Guardian article and what he thought about the same, to which Mr. Rajnath Singh has given a very, very clear answer. He's clearly saying that, see, uh, if we have killed terrorists, if any terrorists would try to disturb India uh, from a neighboring country and do terror attacks on Indian soil, we will give a Muthor Jawab a befitting answer. He even went on to say even more clearly that if that person, if that terrorist runs away to Pakistan, we will enter Pakistan and ghar mein ghuske marenge. we will kill him in Pakistan. So clearly, Mr. Rajna Singh leaving nothing to imagination. And, you know, he's also agreeing with what Prime Minister Modi said, has been saying at his rallies in the last uh, two days, where the Prime Minister Modi has been saying that, you know, and in this government, the strategy, the approach towards terrorism has changed. Um, uh, Mr. Rajnath Singh reiterating that and saying that, see, India has that power now to do this kind of activity. And now Pakistan also realizes it, Mr. Rajnath Singh saying. So how this entire Guardian article, Sakshi, is also in a way bolstering the BJP's uh, 2024 campaign, the entire call of the, from the Prime Minister, Gharme Guske Mara, Prime Minister has said this in a rally in Bihar two days back. Yesterday, he repeated this in a rally in Churu, where he said that, you know, this is our no-nonsense approach and aaj ka jo bharat hai, wo ghar mein guske marta hai. That's what hmm. the words of the Prime Minister was. You know, and he was lamenting uh, Sakshi that India under the Congress rule was seen as a weak government. You know, he said that those small nations who are begging for Russians, their terrorists used to attack India and go away. And the Congress government used to go to other countries with a complaint uh, in an apparent reference to Pakistan. The Prime Minister was speaking, but he said today India is a bold country. India knows how to take action on terror activities on Indian soil from Pakistan and we have shown that with the surgical strikes in 2016 as well as 2019 uh, but I think Mr. Rajnath Singh's statement coming as clear as it has is creating a lot of conversation over what is India's strong approach now uh, towards terrorism emanating from Pakistani soil. Right, Aman. So, if we were to look at the conversation uh, that uh, Union Defence Minister actually had with Network 18, this exclusive one, a mega one, uh, can we say that he categorically accepted the report that has been released by Guardian of India attacking almost 20 terrorists in a broader aim of killing the cross-border terrorism? Well, it would be difficult to draw a direct line to that. Of course, the question was that. The question was about the Guardian article and the claims made in it. But I think Mr. Rajana Singh has made a broader point here. I think he was also referring to maybe, you know, the statement, the surgical strikes which were carried out by India in 2016 and 2019. I think it was more of a general statement covering all aspects where he said that, you know, if any terrorist will try to disturb India from a neighboring country and do terror acts in India, we will give a befitting answer. Even if the terrorist runs away back to Pakistan, we will enter Pakistan and kill him. So the uh, he didn't particularly speak about the, uh, you know, refer at least in his answer uh, to the Guardian article, though the question was about the Guardian article and the claims made in the Guardian article, Sakshi. Right, Aman. Also, if we were to talk uh, a little bit about what transpired there uh, with respect to the comment that came in from G. Parameshwara, he sort of took a jibe at the center. But this is not the first time that he has made some of the controversial statement. He has a track record of making remarks about Hinduism or maybe the Dalit card as well. How is that going to snowball against Congress, uh, especially looking at the Lok Sabha elections in just a few days? Well, Sakshi, it's already snowballing and there are already reactions from the BJP on the comment made by Mr. Parmeshwara, with you know, BJP saying that is the Congress already giving a clean chit to Pakistan on Pulwama? You know, that is a question that BJP spokesperson Shehzad Punawala asked on our show uh, last night. He, BJP is also very, very clear that, look, the Congress has always had this weak approach when it comes to terrorism. Uh, Shehzad Punawala, in fact, on uh, Zaka Jacob's show last evening, was saying that, you know, even after 26-11 attacks in Mumbai, uh, the then Air Chief Marshal Fali Homi Major had told then Prime Minister Manmohan Singh that, you know, the Air Force can carry out air strikes on terror camps in Pakistan. But it was not done. Instead, the Congress government gave Pakistan the most favoured nation status. And he said, but today, uh, the template is Muthor Jawab with surgical strikes in Pakistan after terror strikes. And, you know, the there's been a change in this template in response to terrorism when it comes to the Modi government. That has also led to terror attacks being down, be it in JNK, 
or uh, be it left wing extremism and he said pakistan now also do- knows this that you know it may have got a most favored nation status under the upa government even after the 2611 attacks but today if does if it does a terror strike uh, pakistan knows what the consequences will be and india will be reacting very hard 